Here I am in the operating room. We have completed a cataract surgery with uh, implantation of an intraocular lens, and I'm positioning the head. Uh, I will uh, rotate the head itself about 30 or 35 degrees away from me and tilt the scope towards me. I then will focus the microscope on the distal limbus to get those vessels into focus because I find that then when I place the gonial lens, uh, the angle structures will be in perfect focus. I use a cohesive viscoelastic both in the anterior chamber and on the surface of the eye, it doesn't really matter which viscoelastic you use. So if you have some leftover dispersive viscoelastic, you can use that. You want the chamber filled and uh, that'll prevent corneal striae. So here we have a good view of the angle. We see a few PAS from argon laser trabeculoplasty, but nice blood reflux into the canal, and we're ready now to bring the dual blade uh, into the eye to uh, open up the canal of Schlem. The dual blade uh, has a tip that can comfortably pierce into the canal through the trabecular meshwork, uh, and then the two blades uh, have a ramp. The ramp puts tension on the uh, outer wall of the canal and the trabecular meshwork, and it uh, removes a strip of trabecular meshwork as you move along. This is a so-called inside-out technique where I start really in the middle of my view and go superiorly and then inferiorly. Uh, the, that will leave two strips of trabecular meshwork which can basically be left alone. They do not need to be removed from the eye. They're very benign and they often roll up on themselves, leaving you with a good uh, area of open canal. Placing more viscoelastic to improve visualization for my second pass going now in the other direction. So again, this is the inside out technique. You can uh, otherwise start from the ends of the arc and move towards the center. And in that case, you usually will remove a strip of trabecular meshwork. 